Food safety needs to be part of your everyday operations, as there is no substitute for an effective prevention program. The clear message from university research is that once a cantaloupe has been contaminated, removing or killing the pathogen is not an easy task. In fact, in comparison to other fruits, cantaloupes are among the most difficult to clean and disinfect. For this reason, prevention of microbial contamination at all steps of production and harvest operations is strongly favored over treatments to eliminate contamination after it has occurred. Prevention from contamination protects your label, your buyers, and your business. In order to protect and maintain California's strong reputation for high quality melons that are also safe to consume, a standardized food safety program is necessary for cantaloupe growers and packers throughout the Golden State. In the earliest phases of cantaloupe production, growers should pay special attention to prior field history, water quality, soil amendments, and all sources of intentionally applied and environmental animal waste. Wherever water comes into contact with fresh cantaloupe, it has the potential to deposit harmful pathogens onto the outer rind and, though not at all common, even into the sub-rind flesh. There are several steps growers can take to prevent contamination by water. First, become familiar with the sources and quality of your water. Identify potential sources of contamination, such as unsafe water routes and seasonal influences upon the water supply. Identify any potential or likely nearby sources for septic discharge into your water intake. Take proactive measures to protect the quality of your water whenever it falls within your ability to control the situation. Coordinate interactions with regional water quality control boards and irrigation districts to ensure a continued safe water supply and timely communication of any testing results. Second, be sure that all water used for foliar application comes from a pathogen-free source. Although not a common practice, the use of surface water for a variety of foliar treatments has occurred. Growers should ensure that applicators only recharge spray tanks from well-designed and protected groundwater sources or a municipal water supply. It is always important to inspect all water supplies used for chemical and pesticide mixing and washout to eliminate any chance of improper cross-connections to prevent backflow. Backflow has been the cause of on-farm contamination for pesticide and pathogen-related illness in foods. Make sure applicators are trained in the proper placement and handling of hoses and equipment to prevent accidental contamination. Microbial pathogens are rare in most open environments, and in California they are very rarely detected in surveys. Therefore, since open environment tracking of pathogens is statistically difficult, we simply don't know for sure how long pathogens can survive on the surface of cantaloupes under natural conditions. Until research provides a better picture, it is strongly recommended that the industry adopt a standard that specifies any foliar applications within two weeks of harvest, and water used to manage road dust during harvest be taken from a potable water source. Although properly composted manures are not a source of microbial pathogens in fresh produce, care should be taken to ensure the safety of all soil amendments. Document or obtain documentation about the specific compost management practices used for each lot, as well as proper cleaning and sanitation procedures used for all equipment that contacts non-composted materials. These may be dairy manure, chicken litter, green waste, and animal feed. Also, be sure to maximize the time between the date you apply manure and the time of harvest. Typically, 60 days is recommended for areas where soils don't freeze in the winter. Although it is difficult to completely eliminate animal influences from the production fields, positive steps can be taken to minimize the presence of animals and their activities. The use of bare soil buffers is an effective way to track and discourage the movement of reptiles, amphibians, and rodents into your fields. Growers should regularly inspect all buffers and access roads for signs of animal traffic. If large amounts of animal life are detected, growers should call a regional wildlife management consultant.